Alrighty guys, welcome back to some more Pokemon Snakewood. Now that you've seen all that and that's out of the way, it's time to finally get back into Pokemon Snakewood. Yes, yes, yes. I know it didn't seem that hard to you guys, but it was really a pain in the butt to have to go through all that stuff, okay? So, since we've already defeated them, I don't want to glitch anything by going back, but let's just say that way over there, there's actually a cave that you have to go through, and I don't know if I mentioned this in the pre-part of Snakewood that you just saw, but let's just say I didn't, because I haven't recorded that yet, ooh, breaking the fourth wall. Anyway, um, I don't want to go back, so there was a cave there, I went from the university area to, um, over towards Lilico City, the uh, Safari Zone and all that stuff, which isn't the Safari Zone anymore in this game. And then I also went ahead and tried to get to Lilico City. Well, there was a cave there, which was actually pretty annoying because we ended up having to make that Breloom pretty much our sl HM slave. Because I had to teach it. Well, no, never mind. I didn't do that. I actually looked up a video. Because it's a really dark cave. You can't see nothing. You need Flash to get through, but I didn't want to get give Flash to Breloom because it's already an HM slave anyway. And, um, you had to go through a certain way or you would never get out. So I looked up a video on how to do it, which it probably took me like five minutes to do it anyway after watching the video. But I didn't want to show that on screen because it probably would have took me hours to figure out so I just went ahead and did it um, off screen. But after that I exited the cave, fought a few people, and arrived right here where you just saw what we did there. So glad that's over with, and as you can see and tell and you know, we are not exactly the, the uh, levels that we were when we come in here. We're level 40, well not 40, 56. Except for Breloom, I went ahead and got my right Breloom, our Breloom that doesn't know Cut and Rock Smash and all those moves. And I got him out. So Breloom will be in front and we'll be getting most of the um, HP. So uh, pretty much that's what's going on. <laughs> I didn't really know how else to say it, but that's been going on. And okay, now you're all caught up to speed. So you can see by the levels that they're pretty much level 50s and all that, when the Deadly 7 people were pretty strong. So I'm just going to go ahead and say right now that if I am over leveled, I can't help it. There was like literally so many things that I had to do to get through that part, believe me. It was so annoying. But I finally did it, and that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to play Snakewood. Mostly because of that. I was just like, really? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna have to go through this again. I had just got through with a um with a pretty hexy thing that had happened in Dark Rising where all the levels were off and I really didn't need this. So that's why I didn't want to worry about playing Snakewood for a while and I decided to just take a little break from it. That was mostly it because of that part right there. But now that that part right there is done, we can actually finally do a little bit more now and continue on. So I just fought these guys and apparently that's not where we're supposed to go. But we are in Lily Cove City which is my favorite city in Hoenn. Although it has been taken over by the Inquisition, um, I'm alright with it because this gives us... okay. This gives us an opportunity to get Breloom some experience, I was going to say, but apparently not. And also, some things that I didn't mention, um, Cool Shark actually learned Poison Slash, which is actually pretty cool because it's 70 base power, it's kind of like sl um, uh, Slash, except it can poison, so it's really nice to have, especially since we are Poison type, but we didn't have a stab move besides Poison Sting, so... I'm glad we finally have that. But now it's just going to be trying to get Breloom to the same level as everybody else. Which I'm hoping to do. We are at level 
40, oh dang, 47 now, so we should be there, it'll take us a little bit of time, but the boss will finish what we started. I'm just going to go ahead and fight all these Inquisition people. Um, I don't really know what we're supposed to do. At this point, they just told us, I think, to just head over here. That was pretty much it. So we should get some more story here soon. Okay, Sir Vicious. Uh, you were... Oh, okay. I was going to say, you are part... Um, whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, you're a worthy foe, kid, but step to the door and you're giving yourself up for dead. Well, I don't want to do that, but I believe that's where we need to go next. So I'm going to go here and heal up everyone. And we're going to go to the left first. So I can check out everything over here. Including these houses. Hi there, I'm Randolph, and I collect Pokemon from the Numero region. Like Magpies. My Magpies love blue rocks and I love my Magpies. Bring me a blue rock and I'll teach your Pokemon new or old moves. If your Pokemon need to learn a move, come back with a blue rock. Okay. I'm going to help. This guy's crazy. Thinks I'm some sort of Pokemon called Magpie. You aren't going to listen to this crazy Magpie, are you? Uh, no. There, that's better though. Okay, let's get out of here. And I took out the little, uh, harbor. But let's go into the, uh, contest hall. Oh, wow, it is so empty in here. There is nothing in here at all. Never mind, let's get out of here. Kind of creepy when no one's here. But I guess we should just go through the store here. Hello. Chloe, what is the meaning of this? Everyone's trying to kill me. <laughs> of course, you've served your purpose. You got rid of the horsemen for us. Now, since you're a threat to our government, prepare to die, guards. Ugh. I can't take you all on like this for another two generations. <laughs> now, destroy her. Hold it right there. Hello? This seems a little unfair, don't you think? Three people against one, and with zombie back up. What say you, Dragon Viscor? I can kill Dragon Hunt. Shall we take on these buffoons? I believe we should. As per His Majesty's commands, just you take down this woman and we shall hold off these fools. I like that little nod there to uh, the generations after this one. Taoist, Taoist, whatever, Chloe has six Pokemon. She leads with a level 46 Alakazam. Alright, fine. I'm gonna go into my buddy Claydol here and just, wow, okay, that didn't destroy you. I was gonna say just destroy you with a Shadow Ball, but had to be weird about it, didn't you, Alak Alakazam? Alright, next she's going to use Persian. So I'm gonna switch into Breloom. Gonna go for the Mach Punch and take it out in one hit. Way to go, Breloom. Face Leech. That's that one Pokemon that I don't know about. There's only like one move that can hit it or something, or... Okay, I'm gonna stay in here. Switch out real quick, though. Isn't Psybeam... So yeah, Psybeam's super effective. Oh! Okay. You wanna switch on me? Fine! You can switch on me. I will just Storm Surge you into next week. Bring that Gengar back out got an ice beam with its name on it. Wigglytuff, that's fine. I'll just use my new poison slash move. Even though you aren't fair yet. <sighs> Alakazam, use teleport. Thanks. Where did those footmen go or whatever? Oh, <laughs> we ate them. And the zombies? Them too. Oh. Dr. Blackthorn conveyed a message to his majesty. And then we ordered the to come and help you. Please ride on my back and we'll take you to Moss Deep. Hello? Where are we now? When we came here, the humans seemed to attach a significance to this rock. I wonder why. I cannot see anything unusual about it. Alright, well, lucky for us, there is a Pokemon mark here. And they've got all kinds of stuff. So let's buy ourselves a... 
booty ton of everything. Ooh, hyper potions? Gosh, give me like a thousand of these. Ooh, revise? Yeah, give me like 20 of those. We're just gonna spend all of our money. Give me like 30 of these. You know what? We probably should just spend like all of our money because who knows when's the next time we are gonna be back here again. Wait, wait, wait. I need this. Because you guys know, in a zombie apocalypse, supplies are limited. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Can we sell anything or no? Alright, we have some stuff here to sell. I guess we do. I don't really know. I kind of want to stay with all this stuff. Alright, so we are finally fully stocked. Ah, I could, if you wish, fly you to the training hall, which might be useful for you. Alternatively, I could fly you to the tower. Ah, you have another business to attend to. Very well. Yeah, let's not do that yet. We have so much to look around and see here in Moss Deep City, which has pretty much changed a whole bunch, as you can see. It's pretty much surprised by the walls. You have obviously never seen Dragon Engineering before. Yeah, it's pretty much just turned right into a nice dragon place. And I'm liking it a lot. These are something I took from a muscular looking human a long time ago. I would like you to have them. Thank you for letting Medio smile once again. Dumbbells. What do those do? Growth. Oh, okay. Yeah. So these are like little houses. In these caves, we wait for the call to war. Let me reward you for freeing the people. Sure. Ooh, we got a rod. So we can catch some Pokemon now. Okay. Don't want to go there, obviously. Um, how many badges do we have? Five. Alrighty then. Not exactly the amount I thought we would have, but okay. Hmm, not yet. Come back when you've attained the secret of the mad guy. Alright, well I'm just gonna check out all these caves here. This tunnel is the sole link between the fort and the outside. That's why there are three of us guarding it here. Okay. They are encamped in the south, the great enemy that is. I'll take this netball. Thank you. So this is basically just going to be us looking around this area here just to see what all we, they've done with the place. Oh, hello! So that's where it lives. This is my Charizard. It got this information about the region for me. Gosh, why can't you just give it to me? You're a Pokemon. You don't need it. Hello. Ah, endless plains. The perfect place to let your pets get some exercise, don't you think? Ah, you have a pet. Why not let it walk around? Swindled, come for it later. What the heck? Oh, it must mean that little, uh... Ah, your squat kitten was playing in the grass when all at once a maxi mouse came up and tried to beat it up. However, its killer instinct awoke and it ate the mouse. Due to the incident, it seems to have grown up all of a sudden. Here, take it back. Uh, Meowth. Okay. Well, I guess we could go get the Meowth. Not that I want to use it, but I will go ahead and deposit someone real quick. And we'll go get that Meowth from that guy there. It should be okay. I was wondering what that thing was. So, give me the Meowth. Level 10 Meowth, okay. Pick up. Scratch and grow. So that's pretty interesting, I guess. I guess you can't really find Pokemon like Meowth around here anyway. So let's just go ahead and put it back in um, the PC. Get out our Breloom here. Sorry, little Meowth, but you can go right here. Alright. So, I'm going to continue on. Kind of a slow episode, I know, but this is what we are going to be doing. Alright, because we're kind of getting back into the game, so we got a lot to do. 56, you can go right here. 
And there we go. Okay, so well, I'm so glad that you've arrived here safely. Thank you a thousand times. Thank you for rescuing my daughter. It was nothing, really. Here, take her back. Thank you again. In return, please take this. HMO2? What is that? That's the HM for fly. With this move, you can move about home without relying on Dragon Hunt to carry you everywhere. Thanks! By the way, before you leave, you might want to speak to the Dragon Hunt. He said he would take you to some interesting places. Oh? Anyway, I must be leaving now. By the by, uh, Ghost, the forces of the East were moved into Lily Cove looking for you. They're catching up fast, so be wary, understood? Okay. Good. Farewell. Sincerely, I thank you. Okay, so we got ourselves to HMO2, which I'm very happy about. Because we can finally fly wherever we want. And I won't have to worry about going everywhere that I don't need to go. So, question is really quick. You are flying. Okay. I'm going to teach fly to Aerodactyl. Because it is flying, so it is stab anyway. And plus, we can use it. It's way better than supersonic that never hits. So, I'll just teach it fly instead. Now this guy said he can take us to a training ground, or we could go to the tower. So, let's go to the hall first. Oh my goodness. So this is just like a gym, basically. So we're looking at about level 48 to 50. Thank you. Why did you have to do that to me? I need Breloom. I needed to get levels. Oh well. So we're looking at, I think, probably a psychic type gym. I'm hoping though, oh, fire type maybe. That's interesting. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and leave though. We're gonna go heal up because I really, really want Breloom to get all this experience. So since we're about 17 minutes into the video, I think I'll go ahead and go to that training place and we'll go fight the people in there and see what's going on and then we will go to the tower probably in the next episode or we will fight the like leader place because I can see that person there is obviously the leader how am I supposed to fight him though is a question all right we gotta get we gotta get so much experience for Bailey right now and this should be a good way to do it. Should be hopefully level 50. And then we shouldn't have to worry about it. So I don't really know what the typing is now because they seem to be having different typings. Alright, I guess we'll go here and change this. And then go here. No, that didn't change anything. Maybe... Go here and change this and fight you. I'll obviously probably have to slow down. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that I'm going to be able to really. <sighs> Come on, Breloom. I really need you to get better. Really need you to get better. You know what? Let's just let's just go ahead and switch you out. Let's try out our new fly move. Which Twister still hits apparently. <laughs> and a full restore. Okay. Okay, I can see how this is gonna go here. Why don't you just go ahead and take on my Aerodactyl? It's fine. It's fine. Or full restore again. Yeah, there we go. There we go. You know what? Let's just stop this right now. Thunderbolt. And one more for the road. Thank you. Alright, uh, let's see. Where do we go now? Oh, oh, okay. Well, we can fight this guy here, so I guess we might want to do that. We're here, and we are ready to go, so... Why not? Got 80 super potions and hyper potions and everything else, so... Why not? Okay. You returned my daughter to me. You defeated the four horsemen and you have to overcome the power of six element dragons. I cannot begin to comprehend from where your spirit rises, but I strive to emulate your warrior's heart. 
Okay. Sounds pretty cool to me. Dragon King Meteor. Has six Pokemon and leads with a dragon. <laughs> okay. Alright, Berloom, I'm gonna need you to stun spawn real quick. And then we'll switch out. So, I don't really know what typing... Holy crap, that was a critical hit. Or did... Okay, that was a critical hit. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and just say that we should be able to take on and defeat this gym leader. We are pretty high leveled, if this guy is a gym leader. It's just getting really annoying. Can you please? Thank you. Here's that Kingdra. Alright, I gotta stop. I did this a lot in Dark Rising and I'm doing it again, which I already explained that a million times before, but I know how it can still be annoying. Alright, right you Thunderbolt. Use the Thunderbolt. It is neutral, but it is going to do half damage. And you are going to miss your Storm Surge. Thank you very much for having 80% accuracy. Because that probably would have killed me. Right, you kind of come, come in clutch at times um, when I was fighting those Deadly Seven people. Without it having Ice Punch, I really don't know what we would have done. And speaking of Ice Punch, definitely going to be needed now. Considering we are facing a dragon. I like it. It's different. Something you don't really see on a Raichu. As a dragon punching Raichu. Guess we'll have to worry about training up, uh... Um... Whatchamacallit later. Breloom. But it doesn't seem like we're too far off on levels. It's just the deadly seven people. Um, I had to fight over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. So I did get a little bit over leveled. I mean, I don't know how many times I fought them, but it was a lot. I can already tell you, it was a lot. Alright, so electric type moves aren't very effective on the dragon, but ice type moves are, so I should have expected that. I should have just went right for the ice punch in the first place. Maxi potion and get the freeze, you frozen solid dragon. That's gonna do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna do it. Thank you! Okay, that, is that it? I don't know how many more he's got. Another dragon. Okay. Level 50. Well, it looks to me that if this guy doesn't get a crit, and he didn't, this is gonna be a good game for you, my dragon friend. But that was very, uh, challenging. Oh wait, he has one more dragon. Oh my gosh, how many dragons do you freaking have? You have way too many dragons. And I am sorry that I have to take them all out. They are pretty cool, you can give me one, I wouldn't mind taking one, but I know that probably will never happen. As we go to level 57. And we defeated Dragon King Meteor. I foresaw this, there's no way for a dragon to beat a trainer knight. Do you see all that money we had stacked up, though? Alright, we got the Knight's Emblem. Which I'm hoping is another badge. I have conferred upon you the title of Knight because you are a warrior who surpasses even dra Draconic power. Ah, uh, but this is not nearly enough. Take this to TM02, which is... That technical machine contains the move that works best when performed by dragons. Use it wisely. Well, what is it? Oh, Dragon Claw. Ooh, I like Dragon Claw. Alright, let's fly back, please. Oh, hello. Yo, Ghost, this guy called Tones just called me up from Lily Cove. The city's been flooded with zombies led by some weird guys. There's an old man, a man dressed in white and black, and a guy in a suit with blue magic beams. Gleese and Temulence, you know them. We've crossed swords before. But that's not all. Tone said he saw a swamper there fighting the zombies. So? Ghost, have you forgotten that your brother's signature Pokemon? Landed. Exactly. Get to Lilico as soon as possible. Right. Okay, well it looks like we're going to be returning to Lilico in the next episode. Um, but I think we'll go ahead and end it off here. Uh, we got about 25 minutes, which is pretty good. 
And we got a lot done. We got another badge. Yay! Okay, so. In the next episode, we will be heading back to Lily Cove City. So I will see you guys with some more Snakewood later on.